What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video I am doing a updated meet my dogs video. So I did one on this channel I believe like nine to ten months ago. So I'll pop it up here on the screen um, But clearly a lot of things have changed since then and I just thought it'd be fun to kind of do an updated meet my dogs Kind of talk about each dog individually Explain, you know, their traits, how old they are, you know, their different types of qualities about them. I just thought it would be really fun to kind of, you know, tell you guys about each individual dog because I know you all get so invested in these dogs and you love each and every one of them. And I don't want to get biased and I definitely don't have favorites, but after this video, comment down below which dog is your favorite. They are all really special and all hold a special place in my heart, but I can understand why some people have favorites. I definitely have favorites probably depending on the day and who is behaving and whatnot. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. It really means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. We literally just hit 15,000 subscribers, which is insane. I'm so excited. We're only 5,000 away from 20K. So that's a super exciting milestone that we are going to be hitting soon. And also let's address the elephant in the room. I didn't mention that we did have a new intro. So yeah, I am obsessed with the new intro. I love it. I think it's a great representation of this channel. You know, what kind of has, you know, I don't know. I just really love it. And I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So before we get into to meeting every single dog I wanted to go ahead and thank today's sponsor of this video so today's video is in partnership with BartBox so I want to say thank you to BartBox for sponsoring today's video BartBox is a monthly delivery subscription box containing unique toys and all natural treats and chews for your dog BartBox toys are also made exclusively in-house so you can't find them anywhere else we love BartBox because each box is one of a kind and tailored towards your dog and they come in different sizes to best fit your pet also, each month's Bart Box is a new theme, making it super fun. This month's theme is Spider-Man, which we were obsessed with. Here, you can see the mix of fun toys and treats the box contained. As many of you know, one of our dogs has a chicken sensitivity, so we made sure to note that when ordering our box, and they made sure to send us only things containing beef or pumpkin or things other than chicken, which is awesome because if you have a dog that has any type of food allergy, you make sure to note that and they will not send you anything containing that product. One of my favorite things about getting Bart Box is to see my dog's reactions. As you can tell here, they were all so super excited. Harlow could not stop bouncing up and down before I gave her the new toys. So seeing their reactions and seeing how much they enjoy getting their new toys and treats seriously makes this worth every penny. Currently, you can receive an exclusive offer of a free extra toy every month in every box of your subscription link. If you want to try out BartBox for yourself and your furry family member, you can click the link down below in the description. As you can see, our dogs were literally obsessed with their box. They enjoyed the toys so much, and we definitely love BartBox and can't wait to get our next one in the mail next month. So yeah guys, we are literally obsessed with BartBox. I just think it is so much fun to get every single month and show my dogs the new toys, try out the new treats, and it's just a way for us to keep, you know, getting new things for our dogs and enriching them every single month. And I just think it's a great way to do that because it avoids having to go to the pet store or anything like that. And they're always super fun and cute themed like you saw this month is Spider-Man, which I love Spider-Man. So I thought that was just so much fun. But if you are getting a puppy soon or you already have a dog and really want to try BartBox out, you can click the link link down below in my bio to get your very first Bart Box. So yeah, once again, I just wanted to thank Bart Box for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's just get into meeting my dogs. All right, guys. So I am going to be going from the first dog we got to the last dog we got. So this is not going to be in like age order or anything like that. It is going to be in the order of when we got the dogs. So the first dog I wanted to talk about and mention in this video is the one that started it all, the matriarch, the queen bee around here, the reason I fell in love with Golden Doodles, and that is going to be Indy. So this is Miss Indy. Indy was my very first dog, my very first Golden Doodle. <laughs> she is the matriarch of this video, or video. She is the matriarch of this video, but she's also the matriarch of our pack. She is the reason I got into breeding, why I got into Golden Doodles. She is literally 
my heart dog. Um, I love this dog more than I love anything in the world. If I had to pick a favorite, I hate to tell everybody else, but she just has a different special place in my heart than the other dogs, but she is just such a princess. And I did want to go ahead and mention this video. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting to hear, but Indy is expecting to yay! So she is expecting a litter of puppies December 12th. So I'm super excited about that. I was going to make a whole vlog and video about it, but I ended up not being able to take her to her appointment. Matt ended up taking her because um, I had to work, but she is pregnant. Um, we're super duper excited. We are so thrilled. But so I just will tell you guys, I guess, a little bit about Indy. Like I said, she is our matriarch. She is my heart dog. She is the best thing that ever happened to me. She is about three. She will be three in March. She, like I said, started our program. This will be her third litter. Depending on how this litter goes, it might be her last, but if not, she will have one more retirement litter um, probably around a year from now. But she is an F1 Golden Doodle, so that means she is 50% Golden Retriever and 50% Poodle. She is CKC registered, which isn't a huge deal. Um, CKC registry is just for like mixed breeds and regular breeds, but it's not as prestigious as like the AKC. But she does have that registration. Um, she is considered cream and she is considered to have a wavy coat. Andy has the prettiest. Can you stand up and show them? No? Come here. Come here. Come here. As you can tell, she has the prettiest, fluffiest coat. She really is overdue for a haircut, um, but we had to cancel her haircut due to some of her vet appointments. But she has this pretty, like, plush, soft, wavy coat. Really pretty coloring on her. She's so super sweet. But yeah, so this is Indy. Like I said, F1 Golden Doodle. She does shed very minimally. I have a lot of people ask like what the difference is between an F1, F1B, things like that. The main difference that I have noticed is that Indy and Jagger do and Harlow do tend to lose a little bit more fur. It's not like you find, you're finding hair on your couch or on your clothes like you with a regular shedding dog. It just does kind of collect in the corners of your house if you haven't vacuumed in like a week or so. Um, but still super easy to manage. Really allergy friendly in general but I personally love the F1s. I love the coat texture of the F1s, the look of the F1s. Come here, she does not want to show her face. So yep, that is Indy, my little heart girl. So she's definitely personality wise, she's super sweet, um, super affectionate but also pretty independent. She likes her space. She really like chooses when she wants to have attention versus the dogs are always wanting attention but I love that about her. She is my best friend. Aren't you, girl? Mwah. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> She's the best. So that is Miss Indy Rose. Yeah, say thank you, guys. All right, guys. So here is Jagger. He is the biggest baby. He, We got him around three months after we had gotten Indy. So I don't know if I've ever kind of told the story of how we ended up with Jagger, but we actually purchased Indy from the breeder. And then a couple months later, well, like a month later, my dad ended up passing away. And then around a month after that, I ended up just contacting the breeder and saying, hey, sorry, I hadn't reached out. Here's some updated pictures of Indy. Like my dad ended up passing away. Like, so sorry, I've been a little MIA and not, you know, sharing as much with you as I had been in the past. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear about your dad. She was so like, sorry about that and so understanding. And then literally, I think like a week or so later, she texted me and was like, I've got a litter of puppies on the ground right now. And I was going to gift this puppy to someone like a family um, in need or just someone that, you know, just really, I felt like needed it in that moment. And for some reason, God is putting it in like my heart to offer this puppy up to you. Um, if you want this puppy... Like, he's yours. You can have him. She sent me this cute little picture of him. I don't know if I still have it. If I do, I'll, it, like, put it up here. But I highly doubt I can find it. It's been so long ago. But she sent it to me. And he was this cutest little thing. He was the only, like, like brown one in his litter. The rest looked just like Indy. So that's how we ended up with Mr. Chagger. And um, he is going to be three next year as well. Um, he's a little bit um, younger than Indy. So he'll be three next June. Is it June? Yeah, it's June. He'll be three next June, so he's about two and a half now. He is about 88, 90 pounds of just pure love and fluff. He's the wallerinest dog, as you can see, like, look at him climbing all over me. He is so wallery. He is so loving. Oh, my God. He's almost, like, too much sometimes. Like, he doesn't know how big he is. Like, his head, look at this. His head. Can you show them your head? Look. <laughs> His head is literally the size of my head, if not bigger. He's just massive, and he just generally doesn't know how big he is. He thinks he's a Chihuahua lap dog. 
like he just thinks he's a lap dog <laughs> he loves to be loved on um he is the brown color he did lighten up as he got older he faded quite a bit his um natural color was a lot darker than this as a puppy he does have the wavy coat as well he is an f1 so him and indy are half siblings so they have the same dad different moms excuse me so jagger is our just our goofy loving massive boy hi bub hi bub sit down so he is definitely that like they call him matt's family calls him george because he's just so like out there he's always oblivious to everything going around going on around him he's just super sweet and loving though but just really goofy he reminds me of like one of the three stooges or something just how goofy he is but he's so sweet and he's the best uncle to the puppies when we have puppies he's literally so sweet oh my god look how tall he is like he's massive can you sit but when we have puppies he literally helps any mother them like i've never seen before like they have such a special bond in general because we got them so close in age together and they basically were raised together so they really have a special bond but this is jagger like i said he's two and a half he is an f1 golden doodle as well but just a little bit of a different color than indy and kind of the same like coat texture that indy has very similar but yeah if indy's like the uptight older sister who's always like yapping at you and like bossing you around he's that like goofy little brother that's always like he reminds me of that um i don't know if you've ever seen the office but that episode where like parkour 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 that's like jagger's brain or squirrel that is like him to a t like if i'm like jagger squirrel jagger squirrel he would freak out jagger jagger come here come here come here he is just like just a goofy big boy he's just a he's just a boy exactly what he is he's just a boy but he is lay down 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 <laughs> he is the only like i said he just doesn't know like he's flinging his head and he doesn't know like he's gonna one day he's gonna end up like popping my jaw but yeah he is the only boy and he is neutered he is not going to be a part of the program or anything like that he is just our mascot rose and reed doodles is the name of our breeding program and his middle name is reed and indy's middle name is rose i don't know if any of y'all have ever caught on to that but that's why it is called rose and reed doodles because they're kind of the reason i wanted to even start breeding doodles in the first place just because they're the reason i fell in love with the golden doodle and things like that so jagger reed and then she is indy rose so yeah that is mr jagger all right guys so next up is miss harlow so harlow was our third golden doodle we got her last december so it's almost her like one year gotcha day she just turned a year old this month but we got her um after we kind of knew <laughs> sit down that we were going to be um breeding golden doodles and i really wanted to bring in another female and one that was unique and not one that you kind of saw a lot and then i found harlow so she is technically an F1 Merle Golden Doodle. And her full name is Harlow Reese. So all our dogs have our middle names. I don't know if you caught on to that either. But kind of going with the Rose and Reed Doodle theme. So she has a very similar like coat texture and like shedding and things like that as Indy and Jagger. She is 50% Golden Retriever and 50% Poodle. Her dad was actually the Merle um, Poodle pattern. I know a lot of people that are Doodle haters are going to be in my comments saying that that's not possible. Whatever. We're just going to ignore them because most of the time they're uneducated anyway. But that is kind of where her pattern, her unique pattern comes from. A lot of people are always asking me like what it's called and things like that. Harlow, here. So like I said, Harlow just turned a year old. She is going to be hopefully joining our program and be a future mom for us if she passes all of her health testing. She's going to be undergoing that probably beginning of next year, all of her OFAs and things like that. So hopefully she will pass. But Harlow is kind of our like little sister who kind of tends to get bullied a little bit but also kind of knows how to like hold her own she's super sweet and affectionate but also very very stubborn she's probably the most stubborn and i wouldn't even call it hard to train because she's very smart but she's just very stubborn she's set in her own ways like if she everyone is outside and i'm telling everyone to come inside she is like the last one to come in i have to like go above and beyond to be like harlow here like come inside she just is really set in her own ways and definitely can be a little difficult at times but that's one reason we love her she's still though like super smart super sweet and affectionate and very loving but her stubbornness is definitely something we have had to work through but i think she's kind of over it now she was definitely a hard puppy in general not gonna lie she's probably the hardest puppy i had not even just like she was a good puppy she was easy to potty train she was easy to crate train things like that but like her jumping and stuff we're still really working on she just is she's 65 pounds or close to it so she's a bigger girl um and she just doesn't know like 
her size. Like all of my dogs, they're huge dogs and they literally think they're like five pound Yorkies or something. <laughs> the way that they like lay on top of us and jump on us and stuff. So Harlow has definitely been one that we've struggled with a little with her jumping, but we're working through that and we're getting through that. But overall, she's such a sweet girl. Like um, if all goes well and she passes all her health testing, we will be having her first litter around this time next year. Hopefully if everything goes to plan, she actually has not had her first heat yet, which is kind of weird. She's already a year old. Hopefully that should be coming in the next like couple months I mean sometimes they go as late as like two years old I highly doubt that will happen with her but it is possible because she hasn't come into her first heat yet but she's such a pretty girl I know everyone loves her for her unique appearance because you don't see she's like literally upside down with her tongue out hi silly girl you just don't see um, the Merle Golden Doodles very often but yeah she's a big sweet little girl but definitely has a little bit of stubbornness like her mama so you want to show everyone your your face again before you go back outside you go play outside Come here. Come here. So, yeah, this is Miss Harlow Reese. Sit. Say hello. Hi. Look at them. Look. Oh, what's that? <laughs> All right, guys. So, next up is Miss Ellie. She's super excited to be in today's video, aren't you? So the last video was all about you. So Ellie is an indie baby. So she is from our second litter with Miss Indy. She is an Indy and Ryder puppy. She was orange from that litter. And I knew I had always wanted to keep back an indie puppy eventually. And I had fallen in love with her and her sister and was like, okay, I think I'm definitely gonna keep a puppy back from this litter to live with us in our home. I just don't know which one, but ended up deciding on Miss Orange, which is now Miss Ellie. Rain, so that is her full name, Ellie Rain. But yeah, she is Indy's baby, so she is super special to me because she has a part of, she's half of my heart dog, and she literally is the sweetest little thing. She definitely is still all puppy, as you can tell. I don't know where she's going. I'll call her back in a minute. But she was born um, this past June, so June 27th, so she is just around almost five months old. She is literally the sweetest little thing. She is pretty good overall on her crate training, her potty training. She still has an accident every now and then if I'm not, you know, being mindful about where I'm uh, or how long it's been since she's been out. But she was great with crate training from like day one. She's super great in public and with people. She's definitely more of a just middle of the road type puppy. Like when I was raising those puppies, you know, we temperament test all of our puppies. And I knew I wanted a middle of the road, like you kind of almost forget about them type puppy to keep in my home because it's it's not that you forget about them but it's like it's not the loudest puppy that you're like oh god that puppy's so crazy like that puppy ugh. but it's also not the one that you know so shy that you kind of are like oh that poor puppy needs a little help da, da, da. just she was just that medium middle of the road like she was confident she was smart she was loving but then she wasn't in your face too much um she wasn't too assertive she was confident enough she just had all the great qualities that i was looking um, and for not only a breeding female for our program, but also to keep like a, a pet for me because she is going to be living here forever. So yeah, she had all the attributes I was looking for as well as like really good structure. I mean, she is really structurally sound, beautiful girl, big, big girl. She's definitely going to be around, I think, Carlos size as well, around the 60 to 65 uh, pound range. She also is super cute because she has, can you stand up and show them? Come here. A lot of you have commented on uh, her little socks. So she does um, have like two little white socks. They're probably not white right now because she's been playing outside in the mud, but she does have the white socks. She has a white chest and she's this pretty, just like deeper apricot color. If you know genetics or anything, she's literally the perfect genetics that I was looking for. She is FF plus minus, which is wavy coat and then SSP, which means she carries party. So FF also means she's fully furnished, um, which it, the furnishing gene is what makes these like fluffy things around the dog's face um, if you don't know genetics or anything but ellie is just sweet she's affectionate she's so loving she's so funny though like she does not let being the smallest one around here get her down like she will pounce on them and put them in their place so quick it is so funny watching her interact with them which has really helped give her the kind of confidence she needs she definitely is in the middle of the teething stage for sure she literally i found a tooth earlier that she lost so she's definitely going through that puppy stage and i know she's going to get a little bit more difficult before she really gets great because i personally think the six to like 12 month stage is the hardest when it comes to puppies because they really start testing your patience then but she is just the sweetest thing she is she's my little baby i just love her she's just like laying down right now just so chill 
but she's definitely gonna have a wavy to curly coat she's technically like wavy genetic wise but i could definitely already see some curl kind of coming in miss ellie rain like i said she's around five months old almost and she is out of indy so it's just super special to have a very own puppy that we raise and like all the other puppies we've like sent off and like other people have raised them but it's really awesome to kind of see like my own dog that i've bred and raise her up and hopefully she will be a future mama for us it won't be until like 2023 to 2024 um probably 2023 yeah it'll definitely be 2023 so we've got a little bit before we have any ellie puppies but they are going to be just freaking phenomenal with her temperament how sound she, she is like she's bomb proof i'm telling you like y'all saw in that last video taking her to pet smart like that was her first big outing and let me tell you she did fantastic so this is miss ellie rain she is just the sweetest little girl and i am obsessed with her all right guys so next we did get willow and ivy they are both um standard poodles we got them together but i'm just gonna i just picked one so this is willow so willow is an akc registered party poodle so she is apricot and white party poodle can you show them your face or are you nervous Oh, you got nervous when I got the camera out, huh? So they are sister standard poodles that we bought from another breeder who sadly was getting out of breeding due to being diagnosed with breast cancer. She was kind enough though to entrust us with Willow and Ivy. So that is how Willow and Ivy joined our pack. Her birthday is July 30th. Yes, 30th, 2019. So she will be three next year. So they are right behind Indy and Jagger in age. Hopefully, both Will and Ivy will be having their first litters um, next year. So we're super excited for that. They're actually going for their OFA testing this next week. So Ivy goes this coming week and then Willow the week after. So I'm super excited yet super nervous as well. But Willow is a sweet little girl. She definitely can be really clingy she is definitely the most clingiest dog i've ever had in my entire life like if i'm not touching her if she can be on me she wants to be on me and i love that about her but also there's just no personal space with this dog whatsoever like she just loves you like if me and matt are trying to crawl on the couch a lot of times we don't let the dogs up with us because oh are you showing them off she also just got a haircut and she looks so pretty can you see it oh. and you got a new collar her little strawberry collar she's got on but um, can you sit? But a lot of times when me and Matt are watching TV or movies, we don't like to let the dogs up with us. We just kind of let them like lay on the floor and you know, just try to hang out with us. But Willow will always try to find her way up on the couch with us because she is just so loving and so clingy. Can you sit? Sit, sit. She just, look, she also doesn't like to listen. Well, she listens. She listens pretty well, actually, but um, she just always wants attention and affection and to be rubbed. Like if I'm not rubbing her, she's not happy so she's just really clingy she's very very i don't know she has a little bit of anxiety i won't want to i don't want to say anxiety uh i want to be careful saying that word because i don't necessarily think it's anxiety but i definitely think since she left her previous owner that she literally had been with since she was a puppy i definitely think she kind of clings to me a lot more because she might think that okay i'm like not that that owner ditched her or anything like that it was nowhere near um like that that owner had to focus on her health but i think when she got here she was just kind of very like scared like any dog would be and she just really clung to me and now like does not like being left alone she does not like being without us so she's super sweet though oh my goodness can you back up super sweet like i said a pretty good listener as well sometimes she does try to push the boundaries she does like to jump up every now and then as well but she's just super sweet super fun she loves to fetch she loves to play but her main thing is cuddles she just loves to cuddle but yep this is willow my my super clingy and sweet girl huh and her her full name is willow rue so i think that's so cute i call her willow rue willow rue willow rue oh hello hello sweet girl willow rue willow rue oh willow rue willow rue willow rue willow rue like she's so bad to like smack me with her paw like trying to get my attention like if i'm not paying attention to her like she will literally smack me um but yeah this is little willow rue my sweet little standard poodle girl and she like i said will hopefully be having puppies sometime next like late winter early spring so all right guys so last we have miss ivy so she is willow's full sister they came literally from the same litter and everything so she is a akc registered standard party poodle as well so what she is considered is extreme 
extreme party so she did have really light apricot spots um, not only on her ears but on her back but as she got older they kind of faded into her white so that is why she actually looks fully white but she's actually not SS she actually is full party so sorry guys there was a helicopter flying over so I had to pause for a second but I would describe Ivy as like that kid in the classroom that's kind of over like in the corner by themselves like just playing by themselves and they kind of like to be left alone but when they do like meet you and come out of their shell they're super sweet and affectionate she is more aloof I would consider it than her sister Willow like Willow always wants to be by her side super clingy but Ivy has a little bit of like independence to her but then she also has a super sweet side as well like if I'm like cuddling on the couch with Matt sometimes she'll just kind of pop her little paws up and like look at me and really want to be rubbed and cuddled so she definitely has that sweet mm, just sweet cuddly side as well but she also has that like little miss independent like mm, I'm good by myself like I don't want to be messed with I can play by myself like whatever kind of attitude about her as well which I think is just so funny because it's so different than Willow. Willow would literally be by my side 24 7 if she could be but that doesn't mean that Ivy doesn't have the sweetest demeanor as well like she is just like Willow and I hate to say this but Willow can sometimes get on people's nerves with how like in your face she is like if you're any she wants to be near you she wants to be on top of you she's always like trying to get you to pet her so it can get kind of annoying sometimes but Ivy is just that dog that's just kind of there she'll come up to you if you pet her she'll stand there for a little bit but then she'll kind of go on about her business she's just one of those dogs that like everyone that meets her loves her just because she's so like she's just that great in-between dog like she's just got the best traits of like all of it combined she's sweet but she's not too sweet um she's clingy but she's not too clingy like her sister willow like we love that about willow but i definitely can get a lot sometimes so ivy is just like the perfect little girl she's just so sweet so loving she doesn't try to boss anyone she's just like that middle of the road kind of personality kind of really reminded me of um ellie as well so yeah and like i said she is akc registered sander poodle and she will be hopefully as well having her first litter um at the beginning of next year well probably not the beginning of next year more like late winter early um spring so that's what we're planning on with her as well and i think we're gonna do a litter of f1 um standard golden doodles with her try those out we have never had a litter of f1s um and then also we're gonna do a, a litter of f1bs with willow i don't think i mentioned that but her middle name I don't think I mentioned either her full name is Ivy Rita so Ivy Rita Matt picked that out that was daddy's choice huh so yeah like you see she's just calm she's chill like loves her belly rubbed loves to be pet but also loves to explore so that is Miss Ivy she also has her new collar on that we got her from PetSmart so you loving that like see when I stop petting her she's like looking for my hand but like not to the point where Willow would be like literally all up in my face, but they love pets, huh? And the poodles both just got their full groom since coming to us and they literally look so pretty. Huh, girl? Uh, oh, does that feel good? I don't know if you guys have ever rubbed your dogs, the inside of your dog's ears, but I know it kind of sounds gross and weird, but they literally love it. So this is Miss Ivy Rita. All right, guys, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting each dog individually and getting to know a little bit more about them and their personality. I literally love all of them so much. They are just the best dogs ever, and I'm so blessed to not have one, two, three, four, five, but six amazing dogs. I am just obsessed and in love with each of them. Like I said, comment down below what your favorite dog is. I won't tell them. Don't worry, but I think it is fun to see who everyone kind of favors. So yeah, before we end this video, I want to thank BarkBox again for sponsoring today's video. Don't don't forget to click the link in the bio to sign up for your very own Barbox subscription. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.